the fifth seeds. Well, it would have been uh, great to have had our women's double specialist with us, but uh, here we are. A possibility for an all China affair. Of course, the Imsad sisters there who were playing in the uh, last match of the evening. They will be hoping to make it all the way to their home final. So, here we go with Bekana and Lee Sohee. Bekana, Yuba Cup gold medalist with the uh, Korean team here in Bangkok. So, it's got some good memories for her. 27, 2022, she got a bronze in 2018, Asia Team Championships. A silver in the women's team event in 2022 and a bronze in 2018. She's a former world junior champion in doubles in 2017 and a former Asia champion, junior champion in 2017 as well. We'll talk about her partner, Lee Sohee, in a while. Here's uh, Lee Wen Mei. And uh, Liu Xuan Xuan. I'm high. Liu Xuan Xuan is a gold medalist with the Yuba Cup team in 2020. And a former world junior champion in doubles, 2018. Former Asian champion, junior champion in mixed doubles. The first meeting between these pairs, and that's because they're both very, very new. And they've not uh, been lots of chopping and changing in both camps in the country, both countries. Only 10 matches coming to this tournament for Begnaha and Lee Sohee. Only 14 matches played together for Lee and Liu. So Bek Naha, we spoke about her earlier, 22 years of age, 164 centimeters tall. Her highest ranking is actually 15th with another player, Jung Kyung Eun, uh, when she was 15th. And that was achieved quite some time ago. When uh, Lee So Hee, who's 28, 171 centimeters tall. Her highest ranking is with Shun, Sing Shun Chang, when she was world number two, currently, of course, 53rd. It was achieved December of 2021, just over two years ago. Had a, a pretty easy time of it thus far, beating the number one seeds as well, handsomely, Tarikul and Prajongjai. She's uh, accomplished player, Lee Sohee, with silver in the world championships, and a bronze in 2014, Swedirman Cup gold medal winner, 2017 as well, Yuba Cup in 2022. Lee Wen May, 23, 177 centimeters tall, 65 in the world at the moment. Her best ranking is ninth with uh, Tsung Yu. That was achieved in January of 2020. Lu Xuan Xuan, 170 centimeters tall, she's also 22. Her highest ranking was 16th with Xiaoyu Ting, who's actually playing later on with Dan Ning. Lee-Wen May is the uh, probably better known of the two. They've dropped a game so far. That was in the quarterfinals against compatriots Li Jing and Luo Xumin. Lee-Wen May has uh, got a gold in the Sudirman in 2021. Kela Benkova from the Czech Republic. Charge of this one. Dongjai. Sidi Watanasin from uh, Thailand is the service judge. And Lee has also won Yuba Cup in 2020, a silver in 2022 here in Bangkok. Asian Championships, a doubles bronze medal in 2022. Won the World Junior Champion in the mixed team event. In the on the tour, she has won Malaysia Masters back in uh, 2020 when she was with Tung Yu. And uh, she's also finished second year in the Thailand Masters back in 2019. And they lost to Teratana Jai and Spajali Kul. On my one, Lee Sohi, Beghana, Korea. Lee 
Liu in women's doubles has won the Salo Lux Open in 2019, when she was with Xia Yu Ting. Yeah, for the women's doubles pair, the Korean women's doubles pair, Lee So-hee has won four medals. She's had four titles and eight runners-up on the World Tour. Most recent one was the 2021 French Open with Shin Seung Chan. So this could be an interesting one with these new pairs. titles on the world tour in women's doubles. That was all quite a long time ago. The Side Modi International 2019 was the last win. Since then she's been runner-up five times. rally we've had uh, the first point of the board before the Koreans as well one, interesting to see that uh, Becca Na she was with Lee Yu Lim before this tournament and got all the way to the final of the Malaysia Open this year they, uh, they do like to chop and change things up in the, the Korean camps, and of course, as I mentioned, that's also happened with the uh, Chinese as well. Oh, that was there for the taking, wasn't it? Service over. Yeah, Beck was in a good position, Beck. Robeck this time snaffles it up at the net. Makes no mistake there. After a, a fine start from the Chinese, 
They've only won two of the last seven points. Maneuvers on that one, and for the first time, the Koreans have the lead here. isn't it from Lee So he they seem to have just settled down now much better the Koreans they've won seven of the last nine points about these two pairs. Secondly, only playing 10 matches so far. Seven wins, three losses, that's not bad. Mind you, Liu Wenbei and Liu Xiangchuan have played 14 coming into this tournament, have won 10 out of 14. Relatively decent records. Service over, 9-6. Well, they've been good, haven't they? Nine out of 12 have gone in their way, the Koreans. Then six. They were out of the uh, Malaysia Open in the opening round. We saw he and when she was with Shin Sung Chan. Good there Seven to over. win that one. The Koreans can see it over the line. Right at the top of the net. And then uh, Lee Sohee and Shin Sun Chung lost to uh, the Imsad sisters, who we're going to see later on in the second round of the India Open. Their first event was the Indonesia Masters, where they were out. Second round of Fukushima and Hirota. Service over, 11-7 in They've done well to get this far in the Thailand Masters, and they have the lead here. Midway through this first game, 11-7. Seven. Play. Hey. 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 
well. Well, there's no doubt that the Koreans, after a bit of a wobble, have really come into their own here. Twelve of the last 16 points have gone to them. Like that. 13. 17 in their favour. Really has been very impressive. This is starting to run away from the Chinese. Now, was that in? It's a challenge. Lee he challenges called out. That was tight. So he felt that was uh, just in, oh, I think might have just been short. And they'll hope that their momentum continues here. Oh, it's just short. Challenge unsuccessful. Service over, one challenge remaining. Service over, 8.13, play. good Korean defending is. They were under the pump for a little bit. Nine thought they managed to weather the storm, but quite. A couple of points in a row. First time we've seen that in a while, actually, from the Chinese. we're talking about but it's only so long that they can withstand the barrage of attacking shots much better for the Chinese pair Well, this is quite often what happens 11, after an interval. The momentum can really change. Just to break that, that run, that was the best run that the Chinese the had. Uh, for four points in a row. off it instead. Let's have a look at how Beckham now did. Earlier on this year. As we said, they got to the 16-11. Malaysia Open final. With uh, Li Yulim, where they lost to Chung Chun Chun and Jai Fan. Who else? 
Then they were out on the opening round of the India Open. That brought them crashing back down to earth, losing to Matsuyama and Shida. And then the second round of the Indonesia Masters, Fukushima and Hirota beat them. And then, of course, that's when the pairings changed and they're brought back together here. a little bit towards the end of uh, last year. Ken, you've got to marvel at the way that the Koreans defend. But at some point, they of course have to try and counterpunch if they can. They weren't allowed to do so here. And important for the Chinese to just stop that advance of the Koreans, who are again looking quite good here. That six point lead is now down to five. A lot of work to do for the Chinese now. this up the Koreans Snatching at that one, Lee So he and she apologizes. The lead is cut to four. by Beck. Inching towards 21. Chinese looked in a bit of trouble over. in that one. 15, so they rode out the storm and actually ended up winning the point. Hanging on here, the Chinese. This is the end. Remember, the Koreans at the end that should favor them. Five game points now for Beck and Lee. Nice backhand kill shot there. Service over from Liu. 16, 20.
Koreans have wrapped that up. The first game after a decent start from the Chinese at three love. The Koreans stormed back and never looked back, did they? They won something like nine of the next 12 points. Well, very, very good throughout the rest of the game. Got one twenty seconds, got one twenty seconds. Second game, love all play. They had the, the faster end with the drift behind them. One love. And yet uh, came out on top. So they might feel this is going well for them. Going to the second now. Yeah, with that faster end, of course, you can play your Two. shots. Oh. Just got to show that bit of control, as we were hearing earlier from uh, his doubles player Ashwini Ponapa saying that at that far end you play your attacking shots you just got to be aware of the speed at which they come it come down a bit more control so have a bit more freedom if you're at the far at the near end is where the Chinese are of that one. Service over, three, two.
this was uh, a long rally already. Nice counter punch from the Chinese, and they win it. Service over. Three, four. Was it 70 shots that one? Well, on this uh, closer end, you have that freedom, as I mentioned, to put more into it. Hey. Hey. Chinese Seven on a bit of a roll, I think that's three in a row. to start to this second that we had in the first that's for sure yeah, remember this is that that faster end for the chinese so when they push for those lifts and clears they've just got to be mindful of that and go long And it was around this stage where the Koreans just started to surge ahead. to attack that serve. And Seven, now, five. He's trying to open up a little bit of a lead here. Anyone may, uh, Lu Xuan Xuan, I should say. tournaments yeah the Chinese pair started Five. off in the uh, Malaysia Open they got to the quarterfinals lost to their compatriots Zhang Xuxian and Tong Yu not a bad start and then second round of the India Open we lost to another Korean pair Jong Na Eun and Kim Hai Jeong before being denied in the quarterfinals of the Indonesia Masters by Pali Tan and Tina Moralitharan quite comfortably beaten in that one this has been their best performance thus far but they are trailing here Defending from the Chinese. Uh, 
think it's another one of those long rallies, this one. Just in. Oh, that was a long one, wasn't it? Might well be the longest one we've had thus far. Service over. Six, eight. I felt the Koreans could have possibly won that a little bit earlier in the piece. Just not quite going over. Let's see if that beat. 70 shots or not. Back on court. 84, there you go. Two long rallies already in this second game. It's going to have an effect on these players. Beck and Lee know that they've got the cushion of that first game in their favour. And they're two up here in the second. 6-8, play. pressure that might have been building. Seven, eight. And Lee now just one point behind. Hey, hey. Yeah, the frustration. Not being able to get that serve over the only time when a player's 100% control of the shuttle. So nothing that the opposition can do. It's all down to you. No touch on. No fault. Beck and Lee restored that three-point lead. Nice evasive manoeuvres there. That was close, wasn't it? To the elbow. There was no contact. Service over. Eight, ten. I think there was a contact with the net there. The umpire said that, and it is going to be interval here, 11 8 in favor of Beck and Lee in the second game. The Koreans having won that first game already. Have another look at this. Yeah, definite contact with the net. Oh, the shuttle made it to the other side. Yeah, absolutely no doubt about that one. Eleven eight. 
Play. As long as they have that three point lead, they'll be pretty happy with this, the Koreans. Couple of shots there from uh, Beck. Service over, 9 11. Right into the. Beating them into Liu. Play. Really broken Nine. that two point barrier just yet, have they? The Chinese. So the Koreans are able to keep that little bit of distance between the two pairs. Skimming the surf, the top of the net. Anyone may knows that uh, a little bit of luck. No way to get on top of that. No, they've struggled with this two point gap between them, Lee and Liu. They can break it here, that really would be a good moment for them. going to be another one of those rallies. It's good. Don't think it's uh, quite as long as the 70 or 84 shot rallies we've had earlier. Yep, certainly inside the line. Very delicately played by Lee So Hee. Sixty eight, not too far off. Second longest rally of seventy. too long and that's the problem on that faster end that you're going to find 14 then Is why this time. Service over, 11 14. Forty minutes so far. It's uh, quite delicately poised. Beck and Lee still in front. Play.
couple of very useful points for the Chinese and now back to that two-point barrier yes. this is where they just haven't been able to get over important moment here And they have finally broken that. They're now just a point behind. Really putting the pressure now back on Beck and Lee. Important there for Beck and Lee. 15-30. Well, you've seen matches where either a player or a pair have been fully in control and then right at the business end they lose that lead the lead that they've had for pretty much throughout the game certainly what the Koreans are hoping not to happen here hey! 16-30 Back to three points clear. Five away from wrapping this up. Service over, 14, 16. It's not done yet. Chinese back within one. Scrapping away for each and every point now. 15, 16. Yep, just to reiterate that. Uh, only a point away. Remember the. Bekana has been here at the Thailand Masters before the final. That was with Hong Kyun Un in 2020. And they've drawn level. Really important. I think that's the first time that's happened. 16 all. In this second game. And they were level once at 5 all. Just once before. haven't had the lead since they were 5-4 up in this third game. Like I said, it's not how you start, it's where you finish. So, I'm going to put the pressure back on the Chinese. Hey! Back in lead, just in front. 16. Well placed, on her own. Well, Liu... 18, 16. ...knew that uh, Lee was on the ground, Lee Wen Mei. She couldn't recover in time, and they took full advantage of Koreans. And it's coming at an important point here. Back 
Serve didn't really work. Who shall part now? This second game. Chinese on the attack. It's good, and they're all square. Well, the Koreans, that's 55 shots that one. Had some long rallies, haven't we, in the second game? At least four rallies that have gone beyond 50 shots. 18 all. Serving all the lead we have had that 14 10 to the what? Koreans point lead relieves that pressure again on the Koreans. There have been a couple of moments towards the end of this second that game where the Chinese have really eight. cranked it up. Lots of court to aim at for Beck Hana. And she took full advantage. They can just see that finish line. Not too far away. Chinese just behind them, looking to force that third game. Good rally, this one. Turning into another one of those long rallies. Keeping it alive, they are still in this, the Chinese. 19 all. 71 shots. Yes. That is the third yes. longest rally now. Just going beyond the 70 we had. Yes. Or oh, second longest rally, I should say. Well, well. We've played something like 50 minutes. Last thing any of these pairs want really is a long semi final before the final. But, uh, 
That's the way it's looking at the moment, of course, unless Beck and Lee can win this. On court now. Umpire saying back on court. Let's get on with it. Nine Nineteen all play. the Koreans now who have match point one match point service over Wendy match point 19 And they finish this off. They can indeed. That's a great win for Beck and Lee. Lee and Liu played their part in this. But winning that first game ever so important at the uh, tougher end, as it were. Li Liu seemed to get to grips with things and made it harder in the second game. We had a lot of long rallies as well. And not only will they be happy that they've won, but also that they've managed to finish it in two. And uh, as I mentioned, Bek Hana Looking to recreate conditions, of course, getting to the Thailand Masters final last time out. So Bekhana and Lee So He beat Lee Wen Mei and Lee Xian Chen 21-16, 21-19 in 53 minutes. And they make their way into the women's doubles final of the Thailand Masters.
Six matches so far on court one. Two more to go. And now we'll have the Thai fans really excited because we've got Supak Jomko and Kitunupong Kedren of Thailand here up against Leo Roli Karnando and Daniel Marti of Indonesia, the fourth seeds. So the path to the final here. We just had the other semi-final. Su and Ye are through. They played on uh, court two, Su Ching Hung and Ye Hong Wei of uh, Chinese Taipei. So we will not have an All-Indonesia final. 